the new season just started, so I decided to make a guide for the best Z build in season 11. Keep in mind that items and meta might change, so I will maybe do an update video about this topic later. As you guys already know, there are 3 mythic items for assassins in this season. But the question is, what mythic item to build on Z and when? I'm gonna talk about every mythic item and show you guys what mythic item might be the best in a certain situation. After the mythic items, we will talk about the rest of the build. All mythic items have their upsides and downsides for Z, so let's talk about that. Duskblade is an item that you want to build against a team that has a lot of squishy champions. The item is really good if you want to eliminate more than one squishy target in a teamfight. It gives you burst damage and after you kill someone you gain invisibility and the effect is refreshed. Also with this item you gain a lot of ability haste which reduces the cooldown on abilities and can be really good for making your ultimate cooldown really short. The problem with Duskblade is that it's not good against tanks and fighters. If you can't burst down somebody you can't really use the passive of the item because it doesn't refresh. Also the invisibility isn't needed that much on Z because you are a very mobile assassin so it's not hard to escape if you assassinate somebody. I would recommend building that item in games where you are against 3 or more really squishy targets. For example, this game I played against Ziggs and Miss Fortune and I instantly knew it would be a good choice to take. Ziggs is a support that doesn't give any defensive stats to their AD carry so I knew that I could just one shot them both at one point. Prowler's Claw is a really fun item that can be pretty good on Z, but you need to know how to use it properly. That extra gap closer that you get can be pretty useful especially versus champions with a lot of escape. Also another good thing with this item is that you get a lot of lethality later, which can help you burst squishy targets really fast. It is also the best lethality item for 1v1ing someone because you deal 15% increased damage to your enemy when you use it. But the problem with this item is that it has a really long active cooldown unlike the other lethality items. So basically you want to buy Prowler if you are against champions with a lot of escape because this item can help you get to them more easily. And if you really know how to use this item which you can learn by playing a lot of games with it. I think that this is the most difficult item to play with from all the other lethality items because it makes the champion and the game more difficult and so you need to know how to use it and when to use it if you want to have success with it. Eclipse is in my opinion the best lethality item that you can buy right now. It is good in almost every game unlike the other lethality items. The stats of the item are pretty good and you even get some armor penetration later in the game which can be pretty useful if the enemy team buys a lot of armor. Also you can activate the passive of the item by just hitting two separate attacks or abilities. That means that you don't even have to auto attack them to proc it like with Dustblade. It is even easier to proc than electrocute since you just need to hit your E and Q for example. The only thing that isn't that great with this item is that you don't get any ability haste. But you do get Omnivamp instead of that which is a pretty nice stat to have to help you sustain in fights and in lane. Now let's see the full standard Z build. The first item that you want to buy is a mythic lethality item. Most games that would be Eclipse because I think it's generally the best item that you can get in most games with Z. Since Eclipse doesn't give you any ability haste, the boots that you want to get is boots of lucidity. 
Of course, if the enemy team has a lot of AP, you can buy Merc Treads, or if the enemy team has a lot of AD, you can buy Plated Steel Caps. But generally, Boots of Lucidity should always be a fine buy. The next item after the Mythic item should be a Lethality item like Yumu's Ghost Blade. I think the active of the item and the passive is really good on Zed. I would even say that Zed is the best assassin to fully use the potential of this item. If the enemy team has a lot of armor, the next best item would be Cyrilda's Grudge. I think this item synergizes with the build really well and I think this is one of the best items that you can buy on Zed. The reason why it's so good is because it gives you the stats that you need. 20 ability haste, 45 AD and 30% armor penetration. So if the enemy has for example only Zonias for the armor stat, this item will still be pretty useful. And the passive synergizes really well with your abilities since you can slow the whole enemy team pretty easily. If the enemy team has no armor items, you can buy that item later. The next two other good buys on Zed would be Edge of Night and Umbral Glaive. Both of these items have really nice stats for Zed give you lethality and have nice passives which you can use for your advantage really well. A nice item that you can also buy later is Ravenous Hydra. The reason why this item is now good on Zed is because Zed has a lot of abilities that can proc this item's passive. Your E's, Q's and auto attack all proc the passive which can be really helpful in teamfights. Another good thing that you get with this item is Omni Vamp, which can help you sustain in fights. That's how the standard Z build looks like that you can build most of the games. Here are some situational items that you can buy with Z. You can buy Mauve if the enemy team has a lot of AP damage. You can buy Black Cleaver as your 5th or 6th item if the enemy team has a lot of armor and tanks. There are two room pages that I like to use on Zed. The first one is good in laning phase and against squishy enemies because of Scorch. Also, Transcendence can help you with ability haste if you are going Eclipse on Zed. The second room page is really good in team fights because of Presence of Mind and Coop. I'm a little bit sad that Presence of Mind was nerfed, but I think that it can be still pretty good on Zed in team fights since you restore a lot of energy. I sometimes take Conquer on Zed when I'm playing against a lot of tanks and fighters. It's also really good in lane versus melee champions like Yasuo or Diana. That would be all from me today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.